Thank you for your continuous provision upon this family. Thank you for the hands that were used to create this meal we're about to eat. And may we always be grateful for the things you give us. Amen. Amen. So, what do you have planned today? Not much, just school. You're going to Bible study at the Johnsons later, right? I don't know, I don't think I can. I have to help out with this after school dance. Oh, what dance? The senior prom. I didn't know you were helping to plan a dance. I wasn't, but Alex asked me to help, so... Alex, you can tell him you're busy this evening. You're going to Bible study. Dad. No. Jim. I don't like you hanging out with him, you know that. Well, I already promised him, so... I don't care why, I said no. Why do you always do this? He's a homosexual. He's a Christian. He's just like us. No homosexual is a Christian, or a follower of God for that matter. Mom. I said no. He's always trying to get you into the wrong things. They're kids, Jim. It's up to us to decide what they're allowed to do. Alex is struggling and he's trying to bring Connor down with him. I won't let that happen. You're not staying after school today. Be home by 3.30. I'm out of here. Bye, Connor. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I I haven't talked to you much lately. Yeah, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, me too. I've been planning the dance and it's been taking up all my time, you know? I'm sure. I got those flyers that you wanted me to make you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. These look awesome. Thanks. I gotta go. Well, the meeting's about to start. Would you... Maybe you want to join me? Uh, not today, Alex. I promised this girl I'd go to lunch with her. Oh, well, if it's about you not being gay, it's okay. It's a gay straight alliance. Alex, you can be straight. I get it, okay? I'll talk to you later. Hey. Come on. Do it for me. Please? Boring friends is always a good time. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone, this is Connor. He helped design the flyers. Hey, hey, Connor. We appreciate your help. You know, we've heard a lot about you. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, no problem. So we're uh, talking about our experiences coming out. So what's new with you, Matt? Well, I decided to come out to my dad last week, and he hasn't said more than three words to me. He left this book on my bed, and it's called men who struggle with their sexual identity. You know what, he doesn't get that it's not gonna change who I am. I'm gay and I'm not gonna start pretending to like girls again and do that whole thing because you know when I did that, I felt like I was living a lie. Absolutely. So how about you, Connor? Uh, this is your first time here. What's your view on homosexuality? I don't know, I was raised Christian, you know, Baptist, and 
My dad's a pastor, so religion's kind of always been a big deal. What is it now, Jim? paper for a school dance. So what? He's involved in lots of things at school. That's something most parents would love their kids to be a part of. It's the gay straight alliance that's putting it on. He's not planning the senior prom. You know, Jim, you need to stop accusing him of doing something wrong. He lied to us. Since when isn't that wrong? Well, I realize that. And maybe it's for this exact reason. You know, acting like this is not going to bring the two of you any closer together. It only pushes him farther away from you every time. It's tearing our family apart. You know why I do this. You know about Alex. And I've seen them together, Alex and him. I've seen how they act, and it's not normal. Do you call this normal? The fact that he's planning a gay dance? Okay. What exactly is normal to you, Jim? Huh? Is, it, is it putting on a dress shirt and a tie and going off to church? Or, or putting on a jersey and some cleats to go play some sport? See, that's your idea of normal, Jim. It's not everyone else's. That's what men do, Sarah. <sighs> That's what men do. It just goes to show you nothing ever changes. But what's that supposed to mean? OK. Do you remember when Connor was nine years old and on the baseball team? And season after season, you would drag him to sign up again. And he would cry and cry and cry. But what did you do, Jim? You forced him to play. So what are you going to do now? What if Connor isn't the child you wanted? What if he doesn't fit your idea of what the perfect son is? According to them in the Bible, you know, it's pretty much considered a sin. It's the idea that if you're gay, you're being tempted. And by falling for that temptation, it's just to fulfill your own greed. Leviticus 18.22 and 20.13 says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind, it is an abomination. So what did your parents say when you came out? He is not a homosexual, Sarah. What if he is? I will not have that in my house or in the church. He's a child of God. That's how I raised Regardless him. Regardless of who he is or whom he likes, he is still our child. You, you know, you may be able to force him to play baseball, but you can't force him to be something he is not. So, Connor, how have you kept this idea of accepting Alex even though he's gay? I mean, most Christians with your background just wouldn't be as tolerant and as accepting as you seem to be with Alex. Well, since they've been good friends for a while, I don't think anything he says would change that, right? I mean, he's still the same person he was before. Yeah, right. <laughs> God, look at this place. The grass has gotten so long since we've been here. I know, right? I'm sorry for what happened. You know about what I told you? You know, I like you. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't seem fine. Ever since I told you, you've just been distant with me. Well, what else did you think was gonna happen, Alex? Of course it's gonna be different. I don't know, I... We always tell each other everything, and I thought this is something I should tell you. But didn't you think what it was gonna do to our friendship? I mean, I know you're out and happy with your life, but it's just not about you, Alex. I mean, God, you know what I have to go through at home after we hang out. And besides, you've been so caught up in this GSA crap that I hardly get to see you anymore. I mean, what if you get a boyfriend, you know? I don't know, it just, it just bothers me. Sorry I've been so distant lately. You know, it just hasn't been that easy for me. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think I'm gay. What? Who else have you told? Nobody. Just you? How do you know? Because... I like you too. I've been wanting to tell you forever, but... Connor, you don't have to explain. I oh, yeah, oh, I was gonna tell my parents. My dad would tell me every day how wrong it is. But this is who you are. And you're perfect. Besides, no matter what, we'd still be best friends. Well, the dance is coming up. Alex, so. come on. I mean, I would love to, you know, but I can't. No, I know. I understand. I got something for you, though. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Sure you don't want anything? Nah, no, I'm good. Just hurry up. Why, oh, don't want to miss me too much? Yeah. <laughs> oh, five bucks. Dude, is that that queer from our school? Who? Over there. So, can you tell me exactly what happened? He just came in to help me. What else? Connor, what are you doing here? What happened? It was nothing. Just some kids wanted to fight. It was no big deal. Honey, are you all right? Connor, you know why they did this to you, right? Because you're with Alex. I told you this was going to happen. Dad, will you stop? No, Connor. You listen to me. You're better than this. I raised you better than this. No. I like Alex. No, you don't. Yes. Yeah, I do. Connor, listen to me. You don't like him. You're confused. You're struggling with yourself. You just need help. Dad, I'm not struggling with this any longer. This is it. This is who I am. The only struggle is with you trying to understand that. This has nothing to do with you. You can blame anyone you want, but this is not Alex's fault. Maybe for once you could stop listening to what the Bible says and what your friends at church say and just start listening to your heart. Because maybe one day you'll find some answers. Mom and Dad. Connor. Don't worry about your son. 
I'll be okay. I'll take these days one by one. Hey, holding up. I'm all right. That was pretty brave we did in there. Yeah. I think I owe you a dance. Yeah. <laughs> At the end.